In this lesson, we're going to introduce the distributive property. So um, the type of thing that distributive property applies to is something like this. Let's say I have three times six plus four. Now, if we were ever encountered with this problem, um, in the past, what we would say is, you know, six plus four needs to come first because it's in parentheses. So three times 10. And then of course, three times 10 is 30. Okay, and that's fine. Uh, but the distributive property gives us a different way we can do this. Okay, so let's look at this situation here um, and kind of try to match up with it. So let me put my three here, my six here, and my four here. So what the distributive property says is that if you have a situation where you have something multiplied outside of parentheses, and then inside parentheses you have a bunch of things either added or subtracted, what you can do is instead of adding the stuff inside parentheses first and then multiplying, you could multiply the three by each term on the inside. Okay? And, you know, we better get 30, right, if these truly are um, equivalent ways of, of, of simplifying. 3 times 6 is 18, 3 times 4 is 12, and sure enough, 18 plus 12 is 30, okay? And so what's literally happening here is you are distributing A through the parentheses to all the different terms. And so the visual I kind of like to put with this is kind of some little arcs coming off of A going to each term inside. Same thing when there's a minus sign. So whether there's pluses or minuses in there, the number outside parentheses can distribute through to the terms. Okay. Now, if all you're dealing with is numbers, there's not much reason to do a distributive property instead of just the regular order of operations. But where it's going to help us is when there are variables um, within the terms inside the parentheses. All right, so um, let's take a look at this example and put the distributive property into practice. So the distributive property says I can distribute 5 through or sorry, negative five through to both of these um, terms on the inside. Okay, so we have negative five times three x minus, so that's the minus sign that's sitting in parentheses there, minus negative five times two fifths. Okay. So over here, negative five times three x, well, I can just multiply my negative five and my three using the associative property of multiplication. I won't bother to show every detail of that, but I'll get negative 15 x minus, and let's do a little pre-reducing here, right? I understand that negative five is really negative five over one, so I can cancel my fives out And so this leaves me with minus negative one times two is of course negative two. And then the only other thing I'd wanna do here to simplify is to turn my minus negative two into plus two. And I can't do anything else here because um, these are what we refer to as unlike terms and we'll get into more detail about that in the next section. Uh, but if, it, if this has an X and this doesn't, then there's no way to add them together. And so we just leave it just like that.